So um, I'm Mateusz Xavier. I'm doing a PhD in electrical engineering at the University of Newcastle uh, within the Precision Mechatronics Lab. My PhD topic is about um, the design, fabrication and control of bio-inspired soft robots uh, with a variety of applications. So we're working at um, bio-inspired soft robots for not only minimally invasive procedures uh, to be used in endovascular surgery, but also for um, underwater gliders. And in this case, we're looking at how to develop a soft uh, manta ray robot inspired um, to explore the Great Barrier Reef. This was actually a, a, a top-up uh, proposed by CSRO and their idea was they wanted to develop a soft manta ray robot for exploration of the Great Barrier Reef. And the current problem is they have an underwater glider which is rigid, but this underwater glider has very limited mobility uh, and it also damages uh, the reef when it interacts with uh, the reef. Um, and also they've had multiple problems with fish interacting with the under underwater glider as well because it's quite large. Uh, so at the moment we're working at a soft manta ray version of that which will improve maneuverability, so will improve turning motions and it will also allow for a larger or a longer um, stay in the water. So in this case we just got um, a manta fin which got um, pneumatic chambers on the inside and once you pressurize that, that leads into bending motion. And then you can combine multiple sets of those. So this, for example, would be bending upwards and you can put another one on top which would do bending downwards as well. So here it is that we are currently facing and we're investigating at the moment as well is if you want to make very small chambers inside the actuators or if you want to make uh, very small details, you're limited by the capabilities of the 3D printing, which is how we manufacture uh, most of these robots. So um, that's one of the problems. Also sensing is going to be a big problem because considering we're going to be underwater, our electronics is very limited. Um, I can already see that we can achieve maneuvering and turning motions, but we're still investigating the actual uh, proportion of the robot still. Um, which is what we're going to be working on for the next uh, year and a half.